gosh! Well, if the shirt wasn't ruined before, it's definitely ruined now. It's like I'm in Grand Thumb's video again. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today I have two very large hand cannons to have some fun with. I have a Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum and a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. They both have 8 and 3 8 inch barrels. They're both five shot double action revolvers. These are the same revolver except one is 460 and one is 500 Magnum. There's been this argument for a long time now, which is better, the 460 or the 500 Magnum? The 460 has more velocity, the 500 Magnum has more power. Today we're gonna put them against each other and have some fun, so let's go get set up and get started. So real quick, here's a look at the ammunition. You have a 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum on the left, and a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum on the right. This is a 300 grain jacket at hollow point and the 500 Magnum is a 350 grain jacket at hollow point. As you can see, the 460 is a little bit smaller in diameter but has a longer case and the 500 Magnum is bigger in diameter and a shorter case. You can get bigger, heavier rounds for the 460. This is a 360 grain hard cast, but when it comes to the 500 Magnum, you can go all the way up to a 700 grain hard cast. All right, we got two steel targets set up. We're gonna shoot the one on the left with 460 and the one on the right with 500 Magnum. All the ammo I'm using today is Underwood ammo. A big thank you to them. And we're gonna start out with 500 Magnum, 350 grain jacketed hollow points and 460 Magnum, 300 grain jacketed hollow points. 460's up first. <laughs> For the record, that gravel is a little uneven, but let's see if the 500 Magnum can match it. All right, I'm just gonna shoot them both at the uh, right target now. I think I'm about out. All right, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. First, let's find out which is better at shooting through a car, the 460 or the 500 Magnum. For the 460, I have a 250 grain extreme penetrator, and for the 500 Magnum, a 420 grain extreme penetrator. These are both solid copper rounds. Gonna shoot the left door with 460, right door 500 Magnum. All right, let's check this out. We got some really big holes in this door and we got some really big holes in this door. <laughs> I believe that hole was from before. We've got a new hole right here, which looks like it went sideways. And then you got a dent right there. And then in this door, we've got two holes. Now let's see if either one of these can make it all the way through the car. I'm gonna shoot the passenger seat with the 460 and the driver's seat with the 500 Magnum. 460. And 500 Magnum. Went through the back of the passenger seat and then went through the back of the driver's seat. Then went through the back seats. And then they both came out the back of the car. <laughs> now let's see which one is better at exploding a can of pork and beans. 460 on the left. Oh! <laughs> 500 Magnum on the right. Oh gosh! I got hit with beans. I'm gonna put some water jugs on here. 
Okay, 460 is up first. All right, place your bets. I'm going with five water jugs. It's gonna stop at number five. Well, this shirt's ruined. So we've got four water jugs on the ground that just completely detonated. And then we have six left on the table. So this is water jug number five. I said it would stop in the fifth water jug. And it looks like it went through the back and we stopped in the sixth water jug. Ah! These yellow jackets, they're getting out of hand. Get out of here. So it looks like we stopped in jug number six. Let's see if we can find the bullet. Boop. There it is. All right, I'm gonna set up another 10 water jugs. Looks like six is the number to beat. Okay, 500 Magnum is next. I don't think it's gonna make it through more than six. I think it's gonna stop in the fifth water jug. Oh my God. Gosh. Well, if the shirt wasn't ruined before, it's definitely ruined now. I feel like I'm in Grand Thumb's video again. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, we've got three on the ground that are just absolutely destroyed and we broke our table the force from that first water jug exploding broke the table three on the ground number four number five and i, I think we stopped at number five Woo! there's the round and that expended out really nicely there's really not much of it left up next we're gonna see which one can vaporize a giant can of nacho cheese better. And I don't want to hear one single word out of you because you know what kind of cheese this is. Nacho cheese. 460 is up first on the left. And now for the 500 Magnum. Oh my gosh. This shirt's gonna be pretty colorful by the end of the day. <laughs> Next, we're gonna see how many sodas the 460 and the 500 Magnum can make it through. 460 is up first. <laughs> Shut out the top in the second 12 pack of sodas. Veered off again. Hit right here. And then shot off into our table and chewed up our table. So gross. Yeah, if uh, 460 is doing that, I expect 500 Magnum to just blow out the side as well. <laughs> I don't know, they just stayed in there. There's a piece of jacket. Oh, no, it went through the bottom. Oh, it's in the can. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna see which is better at destroying eggplant. Because nobody likes eggplant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a little bit left though. You can never be too sure. <laughs> what would I do without Sportsman's God?
starting to get dark. We're kind of running out of time, but we still got just a little bit of time for. <laughs> Still got something to shoot. Seven pound cans of ketchup. 460 on the left. 500 Magnum on the right. Oh my gosh. Now how about a little bit of rapid fire? <laughs> There's one last thing we have to do. I haven't forgotten. We're gonna shoot the 700 grain hard cast in the 500 Magnum. One, two, three, four, five tubes of lipstick. I feel really bad for that steel target. I think we're gonna knock it over. We got one more. Oh, <laughs> I hit it when it was falling. Gosh, those kicked so hard. You know, I cannot believe that both of these tables made it through the entire video. You probably thought I forgot, but I didn't. The two million subscriber giveaway is still happening. We're getting everything together and that should be happening pretty soon. So keep your eyes peeled. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun. Obviously my favorite of the two is the 500 Magnum, but what is your favorite and what did you think? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. I was gonna throw this shirt away, but I think instead I'm gonna give it to one of you. So whoever's comment has the most likes in one week, I'm gonna autograph the shirt and send it to you. So be sure and leave a comment. Also be sure and do me a big favor, give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those. They can all be found in the description down below along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you wanna pick up a clean shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.